Show you guys the fuel cell that I'm using for my Civic. Um, this one right here, I picked it up back in I think it was February, and it's been sitting for a while. I haven't even used it yet. It's a one and a half gallon fuel cell, and I got this because I cut the whole trunk area out of my car, so I couldn't use the regular gas tank. So I figured I'd get this one, it's lighter weight, and I can mount it anywhere I want. And still, uh, you know, delete the stock fuel pump, I mean the uh, stock fuel cell, and save some weight by cutting the whole back out. Yeah, I got this one for, I think it was about 110 bucks. It's a no-name fuel cell. Don't really feel the need to you know, spend hundreds of dollars to get the high end stuff. It's all the same material, really. It's all TIG welded, aluminum TIG welded. And the welds are really good on here. It's got a really good bead, as you guys can see, if anybody knows anything about TIG welding. But uh, it didn't come with any of the fittings. It came with these. These here are uh, like end caps. It came with two of them. And I had to buy this separately, as well as. Uh, this 90 degree fitting, it's a Russell fitting. For this one, I think right here was like, uh, man, I wanna say it was like 20 something dollars and then this one was about 17 bucks just for the fittings. But it's something you need. And I'm, I'm, I believe they are 10 AN or 8 AN, but I'm pretty sure they're 10s. Other than that, I mean, it's a, it's a good fuel cell. You know, one and a half gallons, so you're not really having to put too much uh, gas in it. If you're going to daily drive your car, then obviously this is not going to work for you. You might want to get something bigger. But, um, you know, you just snap this back, which unlocks it, and then just give it a twist and a pull, and it opens up. And it comes with a foam in there to keep the gas from swishing around. And it comes also with a, a floater which I won't even be using that. But I think it's pretty cool. You know, it's fairly cheap. And uh, it's gonna work perfect for uh, what I need. Let's see if I can get this thing back in. That's the only thing that I noticed was that it was just a little bit of a pain lining it up, you know, to, to close it off. Let me see if I can get this. I guess that's, the only thing with this is that it's kind of hard to put the cap back on and, and lock it in. You kind of got to mess with it a little bit. Maybe the uh, higher end ones, you know, that's easier to do. I don't know because I've never had one before. But that's a small price, you know, to pay for something like this. I could deal with that all day long, you know, and save a couple hundred bucks. I could use that money somewhere else in the car. But yeah, that's it. Just like a little... uh overview of this thing and uh, of course um you know once i get the engine and everything i'll have this all installed the fuel line right here i'm going to go with a braided fuel line i just set this all up just so that way i can get everything in get the car running once i know everything's good you know then i'll switch over to the uh the braided fuel line another thing with this is uh it comes with the mounting brackets they're already tig welded on you know, you got, it looks like, um, I don't know, like a 3 8 hole or something like that for you to mount it. And there's two on the front and then two holes on the back for you to mount it. Also, um, this is going to be where uh, the gas is going to feed from the tank into the pump. The pump's going to pull from here. And then up here is your uh, return line. And these are the wires for the, uh, the floater, which I'm not going to use. So those are just going to chill and hang out. 